Welcome to Scaredy Cast, everybody. Oh, oh man, I've had my first sips of caffeine today Ooh. in like a Just week. Just right now? Just within the past two hours, I've had a Coke and a Mountain Dew. Two? And I haven't had any sugar or caffeine in like three days. How are you feeling? I feel like I could go outside and run a lap. <laughs> We're going to lap around what? Just this parking lot, probably. Okay, yeah. 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 Not I'm, going very far. I was going to say, I, I'm still, I'd <laughs> like got, to see this. I got Crocs on and. Oh, even better. Even if I put them in sport mode, I'd probably blow them out because I'm. <laughs> blow out. Stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. So. You got to believe in yourself, Tony. You're all hopped up on Mountain Dew. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Yeah. It's Ooh. like a citrus lightning Mountain Dew, too. Oh, Holy it's shit. a little vitamin C in there. It's like a lot. It's a, <laughs> probably not. No. It's just a lot of red 40. Vitamin caffeine. <laughs> a lot of dye. <laughs> this is a special one from KFC. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you guys. Are lucky you were not in the car for this adventure going to KFC. It well, was we weren't even so KFC fun. was literally just like the eighth option. Everything else fell apart. Oh my god, did it fall apart? <laughs> Everything just fell apart. We were thirty minutes early and still ended up showing up ten minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad of a day. <laughs> uh, what, are so, we gonna, what are we gonna talk about first today? Yeah. Oh, I have um, an update on our creep of the week from last week. Creep of the Ooh. week. <laughs> So for anyone that doesn't remember, our Creep of the Week last week was a man, a big man in a kilt. <gasps> oh, my God. Our bald friend that was like basically a big bodybuilder. Um, and Brian, you asked the question, what happened to this guy? Mm -hmm. Was there justice yeah. that happened? For anyone that didn't listen last week, definitely go back to last week's episode to understand the full story of Creep of the Week. But this guy basically was going around to these different stores, as it would come to find out, got caught on camera putting stuff up his butt. Ooh. He's wearing a kilt. He's still in the store. Then he would put it back. So he's not a shoplifter. Did he, did he put it back? He never he stole? He put him back. So he wasn't a shoplifter. That's he worse. I'd be a, like, I would want lifter. them to just take it. <laughs> he's a butt bandit. A butt, ooh. ooh. But he didn't steal. Oh. Booty bandit. He just put it back. He's a booty borrower. So I guess he's a vandal. <laughs> <laughs> A booty borrower. I mean. He's a shitty stealer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a crappy criminal. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Anyways, okay. So it turns out the- um, He stinks. The things that he put in his butt came mm -hmm. up to be about like $200 worth of stuff. Appropriately, the store threw it away, mm. um, threw all that stuff away, and he was charged with criminal mischief. Whoa. Yeah. How much does that get you in the clink? I don't know. Probably like, probably like a fine. You think there's probably actually like a, a, a law? Yeah. Like, yeah. How big is the book of law? Of all laws. Like, it's probably pretty big. Yeah. So somewhere in there, there's a little clause that says, you can't go around in a kilt putting things from shops into your butt and putting them back. Well, there probably <coughs> isn't anything like that. That's why it's put under the umbrella of criminal mischief. Because that could be mischief. a bunch of things. Wow. Yeah, mischief. Just like, being a public nuisance. Yeah, I think that'd be way more, like, you know what that reminds me of? Way more than mischief. The, the scene and the thing. Uh, no, sorry, not the thing. I got thing on my brain because uh, I was just reading this stuff about Leviathan. No. Oh. Um, anyways, from American Werewolf in London, yeah. when he's trying to get arrested and he's like saying all this stuff at the cop, but the cop won't arrest him. Yeah. Oh, man. That just says that reminded me. He was like, please, just like arrest me. Come on. <laughs> A naked man stole my balloons. A naked man stole my balloons. A naked American man stole my balloons. <laughs> Have you seen it's that movie? Be. No. Yeah, you've seen that movie. No, I haven't. American Roll in London? No. We've already talked about this. God, I thought you did. I thought that was one of the few you have. She's seen American Roll in Paris. Oh, with Lon? No. That's not no. the Lon Chaney one. What was that? That's that was just, just Wolfman. It's the Tom Everett Scott one. Yeah. <laughs> it's all... American Roll in Paris. Mm. It was a sequel to London. Oh, I didn't see it. Came out in the 90s. Ah, mm, didn't see it. Had that song from Bush... Which one? Mouth. So far away. Nothing hurts like your mouth. Wow, wow, wow. That's a weird song. No. Yeah, I dude. was singing Fuel. I don't know. I was just making up Hemorrhage shit. in my hands. That's the one. Yeah, dude. Dude, <laughs> 90s rock. What the hell is Nothing Hurts Worse Than Your Mouth supposed to mean? Like, you were the words? I don't know. Like Kevin Rosdale. Didn't he, like, he was significant for some reason. He was a cigarette bush. Is the cigarette bush 
Oh, he was married to uh, Gwen Stefani. That's why I remember. And he was a singer. Bush. Lucky son of a bitch. Bush was the first real concert I went to. Yeah? Yeah. Was it fun? Is yeah. it good? Yeah, Veruca Salt opened up for him. Oh, that's cool. How old were you? I was like in the eighth grade. Hmm. Yeah. It was hmm. good times. Hmm. It was a good concert. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Veruca Salt like, became like my favorite band. It was good. So the naked there? guy in the kilt gets arrested. No, did he get arrested? <laughs> Just criminal mischief. He's like, hey, man, just don't just pay for the shit. You put up your butt and you're fine. Um, for anyone that's local to Arizona, I heard the update on Holmberg's morning sickness, and that's all they said. They didn't say oh, he was like okay, arrested. Okay, 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 okay. Damn. So wherever he was at, whatever criminal mischief means to them, I would guess a fine, maybe yeah. a day or two in jail, like maybe like a head, like a mugshot. I almost said headshot. He's going to be famous now. He's going to be an actor. Dude, that shit happens. Remember, well, we talked about this. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. The mugshot guy that's now a model. It's like. We- um, well, there's like the that uh, that Twitter thing was like, um, was it like hotties and mugshots, or mugshot hotties or something? Oh like that? no, just glorifying criminals because they're hot bad boys. Yeah. No, it's girls. Oh, it's all girls that are hot. Yes. Oh well, that changes everything. Of course it does. Yeah, I'm I a saw, sexist pig. I saw your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you got some cryptid news? You do. Cryptid news. All right. So uh, we have talked many a time about cryptids and what they are. And a lot of people still don't know what a cryptid is. A cryptid is a, uh, a creature that is not yet proven to exist by science. Um... Don't bind me. Just keep going. Okay. I just feel like that's really far. You're good. I'm pro- Okay. I'm going to scoot in a little bit. You're all right. All right. So anyways, there's <laughs> obviously the biggest example my wrist? is Loch... Jesus. <laughs> 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 is uh, the Loch Ness Monster or let's say Bigfoot. You know, yeah, everybody yeah. knows those. El Chupacabra. Yes, exactly. But we can't prove... The Jersey prove- Devil. I know. We can't prove Cat- they're the real. The Mothman. <laughs> yeah. A Yowie. Keep going. The Rougarou. I bet you can't Should get- Should we do it? Like, are we all name one and no, whoever loses has I'm to take a shot? No, I can't. I'm out immediately. Oh, I pretty much- That's unfair. I think I got that one. You think so? In the bag. All right. 100%. Well, I've already named like I was gonna. I'm going to make shit up, so then you guys are not going to be- No, able. I need to read this article. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did research for that. Okay. So, I wanted to look up actual uh, cryptids that turned out to be real. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But then doesn't that make them not a cryptid? Because cryptids, by yeah, definition, correct. Oh, so they used to be a cryptid, but, but now, now they're, they're not. Like a, like a duck billed right. platypus. There you go, number one on the list. Is it? Did you what? read it too? No. All right, so seven creatures. I just thought of right a here. weird animal that would. That was so. Get this. Get and this. And platypus are fucking weird. They're very weird. They break a lot of rules. Oh. At the time of its first discovery by Europeans, it seemed to contradict everything they thought they knew about animals. The platypus is furry Australian mammal. I did not know they were from Australia, though. But it makes sense. You know why? Because they're freaking venomous. Did you know that? What? Platypus and are ven... What? Electric. Or like UV or something. That's like... They, oh, they, what? They, they like glow under Damn. the... They like glow under UV like light Like a scorpion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not only does it have the feet of an otter, the tail of a beaver, but it also has the bill of a duck... And it lays eggs, which is one of only five living mammal species to lay eggs. Huh. Isn't that crazy? Uh, four kinds of echidna are the other one. That's, That's it. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Or, uh, Knuckles. No, no, Knuckles, yeah. Up. Oh, oh, you got something? Yeah, I was just going to say, so uh, platypus, what's like a- Platypi. Platypi. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. the platypus. Platypussy. Platypus. Pussies. Uh, <laughs> okay, one time. Uh, you have a story based <laughs> off of that? This is interesting. I'm listening. I was at trivia with someone and I was like, well, what's your normal trivia name that you usually do? And he's like, party platypus. And I was like, please. And I was like, hmm. I was like, party platypussy. That's, That's pretty funny. good. It's pretty good. <laughs> So take that if you will. But if you do take it and you use it, you got to be a patron. You got to sign up. Uh, So platypus, they locate their prey by emitting an electric charge. So they are electric. What the hell? So yeah, they're venomous, which is for- some badass. Basically. I want to come back as a platypus. And for mammals, that's pretty much like unheard of. And what's going to hunt a platypus? Well. Well, a lot of things. Yeah, unfortunately. Because they're not that big and strong. 
You know, they're... it seems like they're smart though. Like they got gadgets. I don't think that's smart. <laughs> Am I just thinking of that dude, that cartoon, Perry the Platypus from that show? I think you're just confusing well, that him one with wears that a cartoon. hat and yeah. talks. So yeah, he's I think like... he's got a leg up on all the other platypi. Yeah. Uh huh. You're right. He's like that. Um, you're right, Tony. Inspector Gadget. He's like do 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 do. Um, so <laughs> what many thought it to be the work of Chinese sailors who had previously tricked them with the corpse of a supposed mermaid. Oh my God. Whoa. It was believed the platypus corpses were just well put together amalgamations of other animals. It took nearly a century for zoologists to admit that they were wrong and definitively confirm the existence of the platypus. That's insane. So that was number one. This was a story in Europe. They're like, I swear this thing exists. It's got the so head So how of this long ago? What's like the most recent one? Um, like uh, out of this re- list, or what? Uh, yeah, I guess maybe. Like, what's like the most recent? Like, mm. oh shit, this is a real thing. Probably mm. giant squid. Okay, because that yeah. was the most recent. I think, anyways. Correct me if I'm wrong, but probably the giant squid, which is the second one yeah. on the mm. list. What the hell, Tony? Did you already read this article? Stop I'm telling you, it's the caffeine in my brain. <laughs> you can see into the future. Uh, I can open up the doors. <laughs> oh God, what does what does God look like? He's. If you say Keanu, please say Keanu Reeves. Please say Keanu Reeves. <laughs> He's giving Tony a stroke. Oh God! The caffeine overworks. Him I out. just heard. You. Yeah, right. Tony just turns into a zoologist anytime <laughs> <laughs> he drinks caffeine after three days off of it. So, giant squid, obviously, the kraken, and other myths of gigantic squids tearing apart boats or seeing these things that are just way too big to exist. Well, guess what? We went deep enough in the ocean. We found them. They do exist. Or they found us. Or yeah, either way. The, the third one kind of goes along the same kind of line. Wait, let's see if Tony can guess the third one. Yeah, what's the What th- do you think the third one would the be? The third one is the jackalope. Ooh, close. It's not real. Sea serpents. <laughs> close. <laughs> Sea Shit. serpents. Just missed. That sounds sea very serpents. Broad. Yeah, yeah that's the little they say mm-hmm. sea serp- like serpent sea cryptids. Um, well, so I was also a little skeptic about this too. I was like, "Why? Where are they going with this?" Well, that's because uh, they have something called an oarfish, which is a giant bony fish uh, that's yeah. been found to grow to at least. 56 feet long. Oh yeah. my God, that is so big. And it, imagine that washing up on this. Yeah. Plus, on top of that, they occasionally come to the surface when near death and they wash ashore during storms. So people are seeing these things going, look at the side of that snake and it's in the water. Yeah. So sea serpents makes total sense. Long. Then they found out that, you know, this fish exists. Obviously, they're not like fire breathing hydras, yeah. but at the same time, it's like the Greenland shark that can live, they live to oh. be like, a, they, they can be like 400 years mm-hmm. old. That is. And the mm-hmm. frill shark, that yeah. Japanese one with like the milky eyes, Ugh, it's disgusting. But also looks like a dragon. Now this one gets me. The ultimate cryptid, the unicorn. Oh wait, what? Yeah. Now get this. I once again, I was That's like, number four all right, list? article. This is number four. Is the jackalope real? Uh, no. We'll get to this. Now, obviously, unicorns traditionally portrayed doesn't they don't exist. But the unicorn is still very much a cryptid, except it isn't. Although no one has discovered a horned horse yet, we can go back 2,000 years and find the animal that likely inspired the talk of unicorns. Pliny the Elder described the unicorn 2,000 years ago. He described it as having the feet of an elephant, a tail of a boar, while the rest of the body is like that of a horse. It makes a deep low, a deep lowing, I don't know what that means, deep lowing noise, and has a single black horn which projects from the middle of its forehead two cubits in length. This animal, it is said, cannot be taken alive. That sounds suspiciously like the Indian rhinoceros Ah. because it has those features. So there's like- I wouldn't describe that as a body of a horse. uh, Yeah, no. No. I mean, but what else would you but even a compare it to? Okay, a rhinoceros, yeah. And they won't let you, they're, they'll, they'll fuck you You ain't taking up. it alive. Mm-hmm. No, so 2,000 years ago, that's a good candidate, I think. Mm-hmm. Plus they said a black horn, yeah. which is what they have. So not unicorns. They, unicorns never have black horns. Mm. Right. So interesting. So uh, They're going to be crypt. <laughs> also, oh, are you okay? What happened? My bun fell out. <laughs> Don't look at me. God, get the camera look off away. her. Keep the camera on her. <laughs> uh, did you also know? That um, <laughs> the the narwhal yeah. was also captured, and uh, people were taking the the horn off of narwhals, mm-hmm. and 
out off of rhinos and selling them as unicorn horns, and people were were bang, uh, spending like huge, 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 cultures. huge money uh, because people were like catching narwhals and rhinos and being like, "That's a unicorn horn." It's exotic. And then, yeah, so kind of sad. Uh, the fifth one, Komodo dragon. Okay. Because nobody knew uh, what these, like, giant land crocodiles were. They knew – crocodiles have been around since dirt. You yeah. know what I mean? But they were seeing these ones that are the size of, of, of crocodiles, but they don't have to live in the water. They don't go anywhere near it. So – well, actually, thing that'll jack you up. I think they can actually swim. So maybe they do go near water. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure they can. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that one, the Komodo dragon, people had no idea. I guess before 1910, they Dang. didn't. They never saw lizards that big. So that most recent one, probably. Or no, fast. you said the giant squids were. Giant squid was like it, within my lifetime yeah. because I remember seeing it on like Discovery. So, so you tell me that the jackalope isn't real? Mm-mm. Sadly, I thought they were real for a long time. I mean, yet we don't know. Do you guys remember America's Funniest People? Mm, no. So remember, there was America's Funniest Home Videos with that. Bob Saget. And then after that was America's Funniest People with Dave Coulier, and he had like a few different co-hosts. One of them was like Daisy Fuentes, I think. But like, remember they had like the sh- segment with the jackalope that was like terrorizing this man, <laughs> no. and Dave Coulier would voice it and say, "Fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me." And like the jackalope would run around on like a cruise ship or something and get in the hijinks. Damn. I don't remember that. If I don't if I like, saw it. I remember uh Bob Saget on the America yeah. first. America, America, this is you. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god. We got last from coast to coast <laughs> to make you smile. I don't remember the rest of the song, so sit here for a while. You're the red, white, and blue. The funniest things you do. America, America, America this, this is you. Wow, that is. R.I.P. Bob Sanders. Core memory Bob unlocked. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Number six. God, there's more. How many are on this list? <laughs> Tony's bored because he hasn't been able to get. I'm any sorry. Anymore. If you guys are bored, we can talk about something else. <laughs> the humble gorilla. What? Sometimes an animal becomes so commonly known that it's surprising it was ever considered a cryptid at all. For example, the humble gorilla was considered a cryptid until 18. 18- a humble gorilla? Uh, yeah, like humble. I think that's the name of a person. A real chill gorilla. He's. Just, <laughs> yeah, I guess. He's got no ego. That's why it took like, so long to find him. Yeah, he was just like, like, nah, it's cool, man. He's like, nah, man. I don't want to be on camera. They're yeah. like, they live in thick forests. So, yeah. so like get this. The term gorilla comes from a Carthaginian explorer called Hanno the Navigator, who was exploring the African <clears throat> coast in 500 BC. He described coming across a tribe of gorilla, monstrous and violent humans, although it's likely he actually encountered chimps or baboons. The name has stuck. Reports of monstrous hairy humans who would attack and overpower villages continued throughout the centuries, but were never taken seriously by scientists. In the 16th century, an English explorer described ape-like humans visiting his campfire at night. Ugh! No, gross. Oh my god. Gorillas in general remained cryptids until 1847, Damn. when Thomas Savage found gorilla bones in L- Liberia. With the help of a Harvard anatomist, anatomist named Jeffries Wyman, he then released a formal description of the speech- species, dubbing it gorilla. Sadly, from this point onwards, the other anthropologists began hunting gorillas in earnest, seeking to learn as much about the discovery as possible. And yeah, basically. So damn, all these animals are like almost extinct now. <laughs> dude, it's sad, right? It's really dude, sad. My favorite, uh, my favorite gorilla video is when there's like these. I don't, I don't know if they're like guides or something in the jungle, but they're filming, and the gorilla just grabs one of them by the leg Ugh. and just starts dragging them, and the guy just like. Goes limp and just like starts letting himself be dragged. Yeah, he's just you're like, not gonna uh, fight. You're but then the girl just like lets him go. Mm-hmm. But like it's just like he just the way he just starts getting dragged is like <laughs> he's like there's nothing I can do. Literally. So just take me away, gorilla. Oh it's probably the God. best thing you can do because then the gorilla doesn't feel threatened by you. Yeah. Like because they will. They're just twenty five hundred pounds of pure muscle. If I come back as any animal, I definitely want to come back as a gorilla. Why? Just to just chill in the jungle all day. But you're not like, chilling in the jungle. You have to like avoid poachers and stuff. I'm a like, gorilla. Okay. Dude, I'm you gonna can, beat the shit out <laughs> of these oh, poachers. You can like tip cars. Tell it to over a gorilla. And, and I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be any gorilla. I'm gonna be like one of the Congo gorillas. Oh. Like I can talk and shit. 
What? Yeah. Like the ones from like George in the Jungle? Like and... Amy Good Gorilla, remember in Congo? Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah dude. I'll like mess that. up a poacher. I think Oof. we found a new like Tony like, versus Demon fight. I'll be like the Tony is a gorilla versus his face poachers. and Planet of the Apes where he goes, No! Caesar. Oh, yeah, yeah, Caesar. 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 That was okay. When I when I went and saw that with a person that I was seeing at, we like looked at each other like and we're gonna start cracking up. And then anytime we like wa- didn't watch they'd ask this question, we'd be like, No! no! <laughs> Uh, I hated that part so <laughs> much. So dumb. Does he do that? Doesn't that happen to who's that happen to? Doesn't isn't yeah, Draco Malfoy's in that movie. What? Really? Yeah, uh, he's like the dickhead who like works at the zoo or wherever with where they're oh, all at. Oh, is that and, him? Uh, he plays yeah. a real good dickhead. He's pretty good at it. So the last Stupid one on there Potter. Potter. Uh, <laughs> is called the Okabi, which basically looks like a horse zebra with uh, oh, giraffe mm-hmm. ossicones on its head. Yeah. It's very strange. Mm-hmm. Um, but an honorable mention I wanted to uh, throw out there was uh, – this was not on the list, but this is actually pretty recent as well – that they found a cryptid from – uh, Vietnam that is actually like this whole Chinese lore with this sword and all this crazy stuff and this like uh, you know magnificent story and literally in like a pond in Vietnam there's the soft shell uh, Yangtze I said a tortoise I can't remember it's a dark soft turtle. shell turtle turtle okay uh, but yeah this thing was literally just in like mythology and they found like the only one to know it well they found two uh, they found a male and a female. Unfortunately, it was too late. And the female has now recently passed. Therefore, that is going to be an extinct animal. But at least we found it. We know it to be real and not just in mythology, even though it was too late for him. It's very sad. sad. This is a very sad segment. Yeah, yeah I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one that was like, ext- well, that's true. Make a happy segment. You have other stuff. I told you. I brought I brought my crypto stuff to the table. What I do you got? I what do you got? Happy segment. Okay. Do we have? I, I know, saying, right? Do we have one? I don't have any happy segments, though. Well, that's too bad. So sad. <laughs> my yep. only other segment is about a family who bought a bunk bed and it was haunted in 1987. <laughs> okay. What else happened? I well, used to terrorize my little sister with bunk beds. How? A lot of ways. Like she had a fear of bunk beds? No, it just, I just fuck with her a lot. (laughs) (laughs) I was just mean. I push her down the stairs sometimes. No, I wouldn't do that. (laughs) Uh, No, there's family in uh, Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Uh, They bought a bunk bed in 1987, but turned out it was haunted. And for nine months, they were dealing with an entity. Okay. Does it say what happened? Yeah, dude. You want to know what happened to these people, man? Please. They, the, the radio would turn on and off by itself. Oh, hate that. The children saw an ugly old woman in their Ooh, bedroom. Hate kids, yeah. She had long <laughs> black hair and she would glow like fire. She sounds pretty hot. Doors would bang open and shut. Chairs would rock by themselves. <laughs> Disembodied voices. Ugh. You know what that means? What? Ghosts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the old lady on fire uh, in the corner. Even after they brought, they brought a priest. They brought I a think priest we in. Have <laughs> uh, one day, the mom just walked in and yelled, "Pick on me! Leave my kids alone!" Shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. Well, right? well, next day, oh, she heard a voice from the garage said, "Come here." And uh, when he went to investigate, he saw the orange glow of fire. He. Yeah, the dad went in there. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, there was, like, fog rising out from under the floor. And they know it was from the bunk bed? They just soon, I mean, as soon as they brought the bunk bed in the house, this all started happening. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Yuck. I mean, apparently, that those kind of entities can, like, attach themselves to just you walking around. Like, you could just bring it home. It could be attached to you, you oh my know? Oh, God. Imagine just being like, you know what? It's a nice day. I'm going to go out for a walk because yep. I haven't. You know what? I'm going to take mm-hmm. my health. Put my health first, mm-hmm. mental and physical health. I'm gonna go for a walk. Yep, New Year. And new you bring me. home a fucking ghost. Yep, just my luck. <laughs> Try and be did, healthy and just they, get screwed. <laughs> where <laughs> they get this bunk bed at? Is like in the alleyway. Yeah, no on fire. shit. Uh, but if you want to know more about this story, okay, Unsolved Mysteries, season one, 
episode four. No Did way. Did someone die? Did a whole episode about it. Just on that one? Uh, I have to now. Mm-hmm. Those, are the, those are the boys. But I love them. This, this house reminds me of what happened to me last night. What? When I watched a movie. <gasps> Finally watched The Conjury. Oh, finally. It's been it's... out for 11 years now. <laughs> I have not wanted to watch it because it looks too scary. Okay. It's, and, well, it is. And? The the banner. It just fell off the wall. God. Oh, nice. Why is it always well, mine? we just brought it here. That's the one with the messed up tape. Sorry, Zeke. Um, yo, The Conjuring? Mm. It's fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tony. It is. I didn't want to watch it. That's why it took me <laughs> 10 years to watch it, because I'm like, this movie looks way too scary. Uh-huh. And I'm watching it last night, and I'm like, this movie's way too scary. <laughs> I almost turned it off, but I stuck through. What inspired and you, I before won't. you get into like what you thought about it and your experience watching it, what inspired you to finally, what were you like, yeah. this is what I'm going to do? I've just, I just, some, there's a lot of movies I haven't seen that are very popular, but they True. look too goddamn scary. <laughs> So I'm finally just like, I added them all to my list last night. I'm like, I'm going in. Let's do it. And I just kicked it off with The Conjuring. If you don't know about The Conjuring, uh, uh, the guy from Office Space and his family, they move in an old farmhouse. And um, of course, they're like, oh, what's these boards? Oh, look, there's a secret basement. Let's go down here and mess around. Wonder why it was boarded up. Is that the one like where the dog is like automatically barking like as soon as they move in? Yeah. 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 Dogs automatically Never barking. Sign. And then slowly like, you know, one day they start hearing some banging going on. And then the next day, oh, someone's tugging their foot in the middle of the night. And then mm. the next day, they're just all hell's breaking loose. Damn. So they call in the Warrens, you know, Ed and Lorraine. Sure do. They're the, you know, top dogs. And uh, they're me like, yeah, this place fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you are correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There's like a part in this movie where she's doing the laundry and she's hanging up the blankets and the wind blows the blanket off and it like just wraps around a person standing there, but there's no person standing there. Fuck that. Yeah. Imagine, okay, take away everything else that's happened. You know, all the crazy shit that's happening so far. If you saw that, what the hell are you doing? Dude. You leaving? Moving out? Now, like, one of the biggest scary parts I knew was coming, but it was still scary. Yeah. And that's, like, the clap. You know, the clap part? Clap. So these people, for whatever reason, they like to play hide-and-go-seek where they, the person who's it wears a blindfold, and whoever's <laughs> hiding goes, like, to give it like give them a little clue where they're hiding at, right? Well, she keeps hearing this clapping, so she's like, oh, the kids are playing hide-and-go-seek. Let's go. Bye. So cute. And, oh, my gosh. You're bonding oh in the new house. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't the kids clapping. It was a ghost. And like- Oh, was it banging something? She starts freaking out and everything, and the light bulbs get shut off, and she just has like a lighter, and then you just see like these hands come out of the darkness ah! and go next to her head. Ah! Oh, oh, no, dude. I thought you were talking about like a- no, like slam, like not, oh my god, not clapping like cheeks. Ghosts are out here cheeked up. <laughs> no, because then they some. have to go to ghostsingles.com. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. And then while all this is going on, there's like Annabelle doll just chilling, just chilling at their house. Like that shit's going on, mm. dude. That movie, too scary, <laughs> dude. It's the start of it all, man. So, too scary, but did you like it? Did you I, enjoy it? Loved it. Oh, you loved it. That's great. What and it you... still stands up. It's 11 years old. It still stands I up. I guess. I mean, I, I liked it. I'll watch the sequel someday. The sequel? There's like six sequels. The sequel is Annabelle, right? There's no, Annabelle. There's, then there's, or the Conjuring 2. There's, Conjur- there's three Conjuring okay. movies. There's three Annabelle movies. There's two Nun movies. And then there's the La Llorona movie. <laughs> La Llorona. Okay, so yeah. I haven't so even I seen it. you have them. your homework. And I feel like I'm missing another one somewhere. But yeah. I think so too. Yeah. Wasn't there a Red Door? What's the Red Door one? No, that's the Insidious movie. That's Insidious. Yeah. Yeah. I get them all mixed Those up. Those are also there. scary. Also, yeah, and then, well, <clears throat> Sinister was another one we were talking mm. about. Sinister 1 and 2. And I feel like Patrick Wilson is in all of these movies. <laughs> yeah. He's just like solidified himself as like the... The creepy <laughs> the ghost man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like if you have never watched a cadre because you're too scared, well, you're right. It's terrifying. <laughs> Can confirm it is but scary. Just go for it. Don't nice. come here for any kind of uh, you know, hype you up, watch a scary movie. Because yeah. it's not us. Well, that's me. 
Yeah, um, that's you're the only that's one. Me. I'm yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. I'm like, Mm-mm. go home. I'll watch that right now. Yeah, that's why you guys give me shit all the time because I'm like, these movies are too scary. <laughs> and those are the but those are the ones I enjoy, the really scary I ones because oh, yeah. I want to feel that's scared. That's what keeps okay. you coming yeah. back, but yes. you don't. Isn't but not funny? by myself. I, I yeah. want to experience it with someone else, and I don't want to be like <clears throat> at my house by myself after because yeah. I get too paranoid. I get too scared. Maybe that's what I have to do with the rest of these movies is watch it with you guys because yeah, I, I try to so. get my kids down to come watch it with me, and they were like, nope, too scary. <laughs> They're smart. <laughs> no, nah, I'm watching that. I'm like, all right, good for them. This movie is rated R. Oh. There's no like curse words or blood. There's barely any kind of gore or violence. Like there's one scene where there's a little bit of gore. So how is it rated R? Because it's too scary. Oh, stop. <laughs> That's Come what on. the no I way. read the trivia. <laughs> and the studio and the NBA was like, this movie's too scary. It's rated R. And they're they like, well, what can we do? There's there's nothing you can do to edit this movie down. It's too scary. Oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be like a bunch of old pussies. Like, in the come Philippines, on. they had priests blessing people. In the theater. <laughs> I love it. I wish I was the artist that could create something that got literal priests to bless people. I Dude. wish I could be that guy. That, but it's based on a true story. That's hilarious. Isn't it? Uh, I thought it was based yeah, on a true story. The, yeah, well, so. well, the true story is Ed and Lorraine are, true, are living people. No, this is... The first copy was true. Like this family mm-hmm. was real, and what mm-hmm. happened was real. And well, but I'm saying, like, was like it the like the dad went insane and like killed the whole family and stuff? Right? That's Amityville Horror. God, See, that. here we See, go again. Just... And then that guy with the chainsaw. Uh, Texas, Fuck Texas. off. <laughs> Amityville Horror was a true story too. <laughs> well, based on, I'm sure that wasn't exactly how it was. It, it happened. It's That's a documentary. How it happened, yeah. Oh no shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn. You know it's bad when Zeke's laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Our producers over there chuckling in the corner. Now I feel like a big No, idiot. The Conjuring Part 1 was like the family's a real family, like Lorraine Warren and the mom I know, of this. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, they were like consultants on the movie and stuff. Oh, and okay. like, but the Conjuring ends with them getting a phone call to go to the Amityville home. Mm. Oh, neat, yeah, neat, neat. Because neat, in neat. real life, they did go to the Amityville home and investigate and stuff. So if you are like these two and you don't like scary, scary. movies, We're real scary real cats. scary stuff, I actually watched a movie um, that is rather funny. Mm. And it's not, it's not a horror. It's not scary. It's funny. And it also has a, a decent amount of gore. And it's ironically enough coming from me because I usually hate funny scary I don't. I like to separate them. Uh, it's very, very few movies that I really, really enjoy, but this one definitely gets a pass. What is it? So my roommate the other <laughs> night I was down there downstairs watching TV with dinner, and I came in and I asked him, "What the hell you want?" And then I recognized it, and it is called. After you got your salsa boner, or before you got your salsa boner? Oh, this wasn't last night. No, this was this was a couple this was salsa boner. This is like a week ago. And if you're wondering what we're talking about with salsa boners, go to our patron. Dude, that salsa <laughs> was something else. I think I'll have some more. Good for you. Not right now. Okay, so he's watching a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how long I can keep it going. Damn it. It's Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Okay. If you guys haven't seen this movie. I love that movie. It is I was going to so say it sounds like a Tony movie. funny. It's so dumb and wholesome and stupid, but not in like a scary movie way necessarily. Yeah. Kelsey would like this movie. Kelsey would like this movie. Yeah. That it, no, I mean you it would. though. You would. It's, it's like wholesome and there's a puppy in it. Does it stay alive? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And his name is, uh, what was it? Danger. Uh, I don't remember. Janger. It's been so long. I last time I watched it was when it first came out. Yeah. So yeah. I same. And then I I was like, what the hell? I was like, what are you doing? Like my roommate. I was like, what the hell are you doing watching this movie? I was like, this movie's awesome. He goes, yeah, I don't know. I just never saw it. And I was like, shit. And so I had to rewatch it because it's so good. And I mean, you know, it's campy, it's ridiculous, but it's definitely entertaining and funny. And I actually give it a pass, which is super rare for me because I usually don't. But the kills are really funny, and you just want everybody to die. It's kind of evil, Daddy. Yeah. Because you're just like, oh, these kids, let them get messed up. Yeah. But it's it's wholesome and great. I it just is basically those like these two redneck dudes, and these kids camping in the woods, and so like these kids just assume that these two redneck dudes are like murderers yeah and like every time 
something like they see the two redneck dudes. One of these kids accidentally kills themselves. <laughs> it's like, like so they're just putting away. two and two together, and they're just like the redneck yeah. dudes are just there, and then the other kids come like, "Oh my god, you killed another <laughs> so one!" The, like, yeah, like, like one of the like we didn't do it. Like I think it's I think it's Tucker has the house. Yeah, Tucker has the house, and they're they just want to build a summer home. They're just some good old boys. They're sweet. They, they're like, just let us drink our moonshine on yeah, here. Yeah, exactly, away, exactly. Kids. And they're and these these dumb like college kids are like. Even one of them's got like a pop collar, his pop polo collar. Like, oh, he's just he like like the puka shells. I think so. He might. The, the when is this? Bad guy. Was this like early two thousands? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's when I first saw it. <clears throat> but uh, it. I mean, obviously, besides that part, it mostly holds up. But yeah, watching these people die, you're just like, oh my god. And it, and they're just like, oh my. Like they're trying to help these kids, but the kids are trying to kill them because they think that it's so <laughs> funny. It's like it's like watching an Ernest movie. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like it it's like watching <laughs> Ernest or like uh like the Three Stooges. It's very like slapstick. Stick, but not in like a a stupid way. Mm-hmm. I can't describe it any better than that. Oh, Just no. you got to see it. It's entertaining. Would you watch it's it? Very on? fun. Oh shit, Shatter. Mm. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Oh, I can't remember. But you know, anyways, can we just talk about Ernest Scared Stupid for a minute <laughs> and how amazing it is? Ernest goes to camp. I mean, all the Ernest movies are amazing, but like <laughs> I, I think Ernest Scared Stupid is the one I've watched the most. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Have you seen Ernest Scared Stupid, Kelsey? She doesn't even know who God. Ernest is. Do you even know who Ernest is? <laughs> Why are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Dude, Kelsey. shout outs to all the Ernest movies from the early 90s. You guys remember those? How do you not know who Ernest P. Worrell is? Do you remember when he's on the jury? I was outside playing. The, the, I wasn't watching movies in the 90s. Leaks, the ink, the black Ooh, ink. Look and he like, <laughs> up, like eating the paper. There's black. Oh, my God. Ernest. Ernest scared stupid. <laughs> Ernest saves Christmas. Ernest goes to Ernest camp. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest, what's Ernest the one goes to jail. Oh, okay. I recognize. Slam dunk Ernest. I recognize the face. <laughs> okay. I didn't watch any of these movies. Dude, Ernest scared stupid is so. Here's a little trivia about Ernest scared stupid. We should do a watch party. The all three uh, of us. The goblins and Ernest scared stupid uh-huh. are repurposed killer clowns. What from killer clowns from outer space? Yeah. Get out. Yeah. Is it made by the same? People? Uh, the, yeah, the I think the makeup, mm-hmm. like the special effects. Oh, how cool. That's people. neat. I didn't know that. Yeah, Ernest Scared Stupid, like goblins come to town. They start kidnapping kids, and uh, Ernest has to save the day, as always. I mean, you know what I mean, Bert? I mean, he <laughs> looks like he would save the day. Ernest is the voice of Slinky in Toy Story. Oh. Yeah, yeah just think of him as Slinky Dog, and you'll yeah, be like, oh, slinky. cool. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's watch Ernest Scared Stupid. Okay. I think that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we have anything else for this episode? Uh, well, uh, no. No, I think it's time. We good? Yeah, we good. I think it's All time. right. All right. Well, Take until next away. week, guys. Um, I know there's a lot of, of upcoming events, and I don't want to butcher them. Mm. Oh. So I'm going to oh. leave them up to you. Or we can look it up on our phones and be totally. Tony sent us a list of things that we have coming up for the next few months, and it is insane. Stacked. We have a massive amount of events that are coming up, but... There is only a couple that are locked in, confirmed. Locked and loaded. Um, we will be making our first official con appearance at Days of the Dead Phoenix. Woo! Oh, yeah. We will be there all weekend as guests. I hope everybody comes out, parties with us. Hell, yeah. Uh, get tickets at daysofthedead.com. Uh, and then June 15th, we're going to be all the way back out in Sun City. At the Ghost Light Theater for another live show. We've been there. This will be the third time. Third time, time yeah. But this time, we're bringing Nathan Basil with us. Um, yeah. So your dad will definitely have to be there so that they can bond again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Best friends. Uh, and then this is an appearance thing. But if you're going to be at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo in Phoenix, we're going to be there running mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. So come say hi if you see us. When's that? That is uh, March 2nd and 3rd. Oh, that's coming up quick. Yes. Uh, so we'll be there um, being silly gooses. So. Geese. Silly geese. Sorry. Hell yeah. Jesus. So for anyone that does want more information, go to scaredycast.com. And then also, like we're talking about, if you want to know about the spicy, sexy salsa that oh, yeah. Brian has a little concoction. <laughs> Your recipe. Yeah, his little recipe. Make you know sure what? to let's head put, to. Let's put this recipe up on the Patreon. Yeah. 
Well, it's, oh. it's also on Patreon just to listen to as well. So we'll put Maybe. it on there as a recipe and you can but listen to Brian's experience. what if it was experience. way better because I was high and everyone hates it? And then everyone shits well, on my salsa well, recipe. That's on you. Just put a little bit of that in your recipe. A little bit of something in my salsa. A little in this bit episode. Of, in this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. Oh. Make sure you go to scaredycast.com. That's all I can Go to scaredycast.com.